Hey guys, SC Survival and Hunting here. Today we're doing a tabletop review of the Phoenix PD35 and this is the 2014 edition. And this stuff over here, I just had it because right now on Amazon for $89.95, so 90 bucks, you can get a flashlight that comes with a lanyard, the sheath, and a 25 lumen keychain light, along with the Nightcore Intelli i2 charger and a Nightcore 18650 battery. And this is a lithium <coughs> ion rechargeable battery. And then, but you can also take CR123As on the PD35. So real quick, I'm just gonna set these out the way to get into the flashlight. So you know, it just have comes with the standard packaging right here. Comes out, sheath, keychain light, and then the stuff right here that nobody ever reads, or at least I don't read it. I don't really need to know how to push a button to make the flashlight work. But real quick, this little keychain light is pretty awesome. It's 25 lumens, and it, for just one little bulb, it gives off a really decent size beam. So this is perfect. I'm gonna actually, because of its size, I'm just gonna convert this to my EDC on my keychain. So, to where I usually carry the Leatherman Micro, of course, my keys. And then I want to get this uh, CRKT. It's a, one of their folding knives that folds down to like that big. It's like a credit card knife, but smaller. And then have this on there too. Little lanyard right here that I'll put on later. And then, of course, the flashlight itself. Now, a little bit of specs about the flashlight. It's five and a half inches. Or let's see, I'm not, let's see the centimeters. It's 139 millimeters or five and a half inches long. The diameter is exactly one inch, 25.4 millimeters. The weight is 87 grams or three ounces without the batteries in it. It utilizes a Cree XM L2 U2 LED and its max output is 960 lumens. That is bright, that's very bright. Opposed to our Eagle Tac, I think it's the P20C2 or something like that. That is like 700, 750 lumens and that lights up my backyard easy. So, you have a nice pocket clip right here on the flashlight. You have, of course, the button to turn it on, of course. And the batteries you just screw off the top right here and it comes right off. And then right here, which is what I like, this little gray button you press it and it changes the modes. There's five modes of brightness on here. And then it also has strobes on it. So we'll put in the battery in a second. Check it out. And the sheath, you know, it looks kind of cheap, but it doesn't really bother me because I, I like my sheaths to be really low profile. Right now, stick it in and it fits perfectly. I just wish that it was Molly compatible. It fits most standard two inch, one and a half inch belt size. Um, Let's see, let's talk about its modes. Turbo mode, its output is 960 lumens and its runtime is one hour and 10 minutes. The distance is, on all of it, is 208 meters. The intensity is 10,800 CD. The impact resistance is one meter, so that basically means it's not gonna break if you drop it from one meter or less. And this is not a torture test. I'm not gonna try to beat it up on the first day I got it because it just came in the mail. It's waterproof, IPX8 waterproof up to two meters. So two meters is like roughly six feet, I think. Because isn't a meter like three feet, two and a half feet around there. I'm, I'm not from Europe, so I really don't know. So please don't get mad at me for that. The next mode is high. It's 460 lumens and its run is three hours and 15 minutes. That's pretty awesome. So for three and a quarter hours, you can run it for the output of one of my Streamlight Stingers, the non-LED version. That's like 460 lumens. And that's pretty bright. And this with the LED, that's perfect. The next is uh, the mode is mid, which is 180 lumens and it runs for 10 hours. That's a lot. I mean, 180 lumens is pretty darn good. 
low is on 50 lumens and that runs for 38 hours. So I would just honestly keep it on low so I could, you know, search through my backpack. But then of course I'll change the modes with that button right there to use different modes. The next is the eco mode to where you can basically run it for forever. 14 lumens for 150 hours of continuous runtime. That's quite a lot. The next is the strobe. 960 lumens on strobe. You will blind someone with this. Let's see. It's made out of anodized, anodized aluminum. It's powered by the 18650 battery or two CR123A batteries. It has a tactical tail switch with momentary on function. Side switch on the head, which is that little gray thing right there, the button. And it has a 24 months or two year warranty on it, free repair, and of course, since it's only two years, it's limited lifetime. Has a good size pocket clip on here that's perfect, and it's just a all around great, not, uh, not knife, great flashlight. And I like it because it's not wide. A lot of the times you see flashlights that are real slim like this, but then once they get up to the bulb area, it uh, expands out a lot, like the Eagle Tag G25C2. About the same lumens, but look at the size difference. See what I mean? This, the Phoenix PD35 is slim all the way through. But the Eagle Tag starts off, you know, pretty slim, but then once it gets up to the bulb area, boom, it just widens out to where that's a two inch diameter and down here is only a one inch, so it doubles. Let's see. See how long the lanyard is that it comes with. and it comes with extra rings on it and an extra clip with the lanyard and then the lanyard just goes right through here and you just tie it in and I'll do that later on because I don't think y'all want to watch me do that. So now, let's jump into the little charger that it came with. This is the Nightcore Intelli i2 charger. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what this is. And the thing I like about this, it's a smart charger. So, it's not going to overcharge or undercharge your batteries. It can charge two batteries at the same time. The most common battery charged out of this is, of course, just the 18650, which is what it came with, but it can charge any other type of batteries that are the same size. It comes with a standard AC DC wall outlet. Plug that into the thing, plug that into the wall, of course, and it charges it right up. And it actually does multiple batteries because look, this thing slides right here. So you can basically, if it has the same width, you can charge basically almost any battery, which is what I really like. <coughs> Pop that out, get the plastic out the way. Comes with a night, some night core thing where you, if for warranty, if it breaks or anything, write down model number, date of purchase, serial number, and then why you need to be replaced. <clears throat> so like I said, that just plugs into that right there, and then, see, I'm gonna go ahead and get my knife out to open up the battery. Get that out the way. Oh yeah, and it comes with a paper like again don't read but I may keep that warranty card just in case I actually have to replace it for some apparent reason lithium ion rechargeable battery it's pretty big it weighs a lot it probably weighs as much as the Phoenix PD35 itself so I'm gonna go ahead and move my knife out the way so again you just stick that right in there like that and See those little things right here? See if the camera can pick it up. It's little things like batteries. And it has three LED lights on it. And of course, it'll, all three will be lit when it's fully charged. So that's what I really like about this. So, let's move that out of the way and let's see if there's any charge on this battery. So I can give y'all a little bit of how this thing works. Positive side, dump right down in there. Screw the cap right back on. Let's see. Let's see if it's charged at all. Nope, not charged. So, later on, 
we will cut to all right so now that we have the we got the battery charged it's probably around 8 30 at night and i'm going to test it inside first because it is a lot brighter there's eco mode then whenever you press the little button on the side it goes to low which excuse me here for a minute eco was 14 lumens and it burns for 150 hours this is low which is 50 lumens which burns for 38 hours that is mid which is 180 lumens which burns for 10 hours this is high which burns for 400 burns at 460 lumens which burns uh three and a half hours and then that is turbo which is 960 lumens for 110 minutes and then to put on strobe you press and hold that little gray button so there all right now we're outside there's eco on the ground low mid high turbo and look it doesn't look like it on the camera but this thing is insanely bright this thing can light up anything man then here's strobe All right, there, I don't want to burn you, or not burn you, blind you. So now, let's take a quick little peek in the trees. See, it just lights up the trees all around you. It's a lot harder to film at night than I thought. So, that is the beam distance, and I think the beam, the beam distance is roughly 205 meters, which is pretty accurate. So, this is the beam testing and the brightness. So, remember it's $89.95 on Amazon. I'll probably put a link in the description. If I don't, don't eat me up. I'll try to remember. This is just a all around great knife, or knife, great flashlight. I really like it. So guys, thanks for watching. This is SC Survival and Hunting. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks and bye.